With Home Assistant and a smart speaker, you can actually make your home talk. Person detected in front of your house. Person detected in front of your house. And trust me, once you hear your house speaking to you, there is no going back. All you need is Home Assistant and some smart speakers. No rain right now. Outside temperature is 16 degrees. Today's forecast, cloudy. This is what we're building today. So let me show you in this episode exactly how to make your home talk to you. Water detected under the kitchen sink. Let's see the requirements. You only need a few things to get started. First, you need Home Assistant. Then you need some add-ons in Home Assistant, maybe Piper and Google Translate text-to-speech. There's plenty to choose from. You can use the AI, but I'm gonna do that in another video. And you need any smart speaker, Alexa, Google Home, Sonos or HomePod. In this episode, I'm gonna use Sonos. I don't have any other speakers. And last but not the least, you need a bit of free time to set things up. Let's start with how you can use text-to-speech when somebody's in front of your house. For this, you'll need an outdoor camera that can detect and differentiate between a person, vehicle, motion, pet. In my case, I'm using the TP-Link Tapo C325WB camera. What's great about it is that it can tell the difference between people, animals and vehicles, so you'll get a notification when it's an actual person passing by. I'll make a full video about the Tapo cameras later, so stay tuned for that. Now let's head into Home Assistant. If you don't already have Piper or Google Translate TTS, you need to go to the add-ons. You need to go to the settings first and then you'll find add-ons. On here you'll see all the add-ons you already have installed on your system. If Piper is missing, then you need to install it. Click on Add-on Store and then in the search bar type Piper. In my case it's already installed, but click on it and you'll have an install button. Then you will get in the same screen like I am now. After that, you can go to configuration and here you can select the voice, the language, the speed and the cadence of your voice. What's really cool about Piper is that it's local, supports many languages and gives you control over how natural or expressive the voice sounds. If you prefer cloud-based voices, you can use Google Translate TTS instead. Once you've chosen the right voice and language for you, let's build your automation. Let's create the person detection automation. In order to do so, we need to go to settings, automations and scenes, create automation, create new automation. Then we need to add the trigger, our camera. Add trigger, device. In my case, it's called front camera. And then we need to look for the entity that detects a person. There it is, motion. Now we go to the add action section and we scroll down other actions, perform action. Look for TTS, that's text-to-speech, speak. And now we need to add the entity for our text-to-speech. In case you use Piper, type Piper. In case you use Google, uh, just click on Google. Media player entity, you need to put your speaker. Mine is living room speaker, that's my Sonos speaker. And then we need to type the message. That's it. Now we save. We give the automation a name, I will call it test and save. Let's do something extra for this automation. Let's add a notification on our phone. We need to go to add action, scroll down, other actions, perform action, and just type notification. Choose the device you want to get a notification. In my case, I'm gonna use my Samsung phone and then write the message. That is it. Just save. This way you will get a notification when you're not home if a person is detected in front of your house. If you live in a crowded area, maybe during the day is not good to get a notification. But in the Tapo app you can set zones maybe near the house. If someone is wandering there, it's a good idea to get notification. And especially in at night time. Let's do another one. Let's add a leak alert automation. Now let's take it one step further. If you have a water leak sensor, you can do something really, really smart. Make it talk and protect your home automatically. Let's say your water leak sensor detects water, water under the kitchen under sink. The kitchen You'll sink. first want to stop the water supply. So in my case, I'm turning off a new smart switch that powers off my hydrophore. If you have a smart water valve, you can use that instead. 
After that, we'll add a notification to your phone that says water detected under the kitchen sink and a TTS message on your speaker saying the same thing out loud. You can even add a delay of a few seconds and repeat the message once more, just to make sure you don't miss it. So let's do this automation. Once again, go to settings, automations and scenes, create automation, create new automation, add a trigger, device, look for your leak sensor. I use an IKEA leak sensor, which is very good. Uh, then look for the entity, moisture become moist. Then we need to add an action. Go down to other actions, perform action, and we need to look for, in my case, my switch that turns off my hydrophore. If you have a smart valve, look for that one. Switch, turn off a switch, and I'm gonna look for my device. It's called Noose Well. So this turns off my water if the leak is detected. Then we need to add a notification to our phone, add action, we go other actions, perform action, write notification, and choose your phone. Write the text and add another action because we want to add a TTS message, other actions again, perform action, look for TTS, speak, we need to choose our entity. In my case, I'm gonna put Google Translate or use Piper and choose the media player. And then what message we want to hear. And then save. We need to save the automation, give it a name, water leak. Save, and that is it. With this automation, when uh, water is detected under the sink, you will get a notification on your phone, you will get a TTS message on your speaker, but most important, the water will be shut off in the house. Text-to-speech can be used in so many useful and fun ways. You can get critical alerts like smoke detection, water leaks or gas leaks, which are very important. But you can also get fun messages like good morning or welcome home or for your kid time for homework and maybe turn off your TV. Or even reminders when you leave home, like don't forget your keys. Once you start using it, you'll realize how powerful it is to have a house that talks back. And with Home Assistant, you can do it locally and fully customizable. So that is it for today. I hope you found this useful and if you did, hit that like button, subscribe and share it with anyone who's building their smart home. It really helps me a lot and motivates me to keep making more tutorials like this. Till next time, stay smart, stay connected and make your home talk.